Thanks to everyone that visited the Gymshark stand this weekend. It's always really inspirational to meet the fans. There's some awesome stories and a lot of you guys have had some incredible achievements. So it's also always awesome to hear those. Um, the Gymshark staff were incredible, in particular Mitch Healy, head of exhibitions and events. Absolutely smashed it this year. Um, and all of the Gymshark staff were just awesome and absolutely worked their socks off all weekend. Athletes-wise, Nikki Black, as ever, she was amazing. Uh, it's great to see her in such a great place, uh, physically and mentally. Uh, and I genuinely believe that until now, we've only seen a slice of what she's capable of. There's going to be some massive, massive things coming for Nikki. Lex and Laney, what can I say? Biggest individual queue at the Expo. Again, awesome this year. Doug Sensor Martin and Yannette Garcia, first ever fitness expo, but you would never know it. Jasmine Garcia, amazing interaction with the fans and really worked that gangster element from the bay. Steve Cook shut body power down with the running man and our episode 2 all access for copyright reasons. Bradley Martin of course doing his own thing but as ever 100% on board and I think he really appreciates what we're trying to do here at Gymshark. Ross Dickerson, it's always interesting with Ross but joking apart an incredible guy and an amazing ambassador for the brand. All round, it was another amazing weekend at Body Power. The All Access videos have gone really well. I've uh, been reading all the comments. Uh, we see a lot of banter in the comments about people comparing Gymshark to other brands, particularly at the Expo. We wish the best to anyone that's doing that, trying to do their thing at the Expos like us. Um, but the only people that really should be watching us is Nike and Under Armour. Because believe me, we are coming. Clothing is just the beginning for Gymshark. Right. I'd like to point out it's a t-shirt that one of the uh, my lovely fans hey bought me yesterday. Love is real. Let's ask some people for photos again, you know, you should... I'm a big fan of his. I'm a <laughs> photo with him. All right, today the Gymshark team is off to visit the land of Harry Potter. Right then, we're about to get on the coach for a full day of witchcraft and wizardry at Harry Potter Studio Tour, Watford, London, with the Gymshark team. There's going to be magic everywhere, one spells, but no other cadavers. So <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> I did like a six week six pack. No says that I look awful. What is it, no, that you said? Mitch actually said it first that I look very. Mitch knows. Proper British today. British. 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 Tweed. Tweed. It's my tweed jacket. I'm gonna look proper British in my fucking Gryffindor robes, bitches. <laughs> I think he's the only one that took the Harry Potter wardrobe thing very seriously. <laughs> I'm gonna walk in and be like, I'm not stepping one more foot into this place until you deck me out some robes. Hand him over. Do you think they'll have the hat? Yeah, they do. Can I buy a sword? No, hat? wait, does it move? I'm so gonna be a Hufflepuff man. <laughs> Still July 23rd. You like them? I do. Come on, yeah, I'm going to be in Los Quiero. I don't know how you're going to have to give me some other like, 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 like a lot. No, I can't see this anymore. Scared of one to Hufflepuff. So I think I want to. I can't breathe right now. I lost my voice, but I'm really, really, really excited. I'm the Hufflepuff. So back up off my category, my group, <laughs> back, back up my homies. Line right up. We need your muggle passes. Muggle. 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 You're a wizard, Nikki. Slivering. Can't have that. <laughs> Thank you. It's still slivering. I'm definitely Gryffindor. One for me. Just because your name's Griffin. One for you. I'm Griffin. It's not just Griffin. You've got one. Viewers. Safe and sound. Um, I'm going to start off with Harry Potter 101, okay? I'm looking for the name of Hagrid Spider. Nice and easy. Hands up. Straight up. Aragog, absolutely correct. Who's your favourite house? <laughs> Gryffindor. Okay, we're going to up the ante. Uh, I am looking for the type, the type of dragon. 
the hairy face and the goblet of fire. When he pulled out the bag, it was straight up there, sir. Hungarian Hortel. Hungarian Hortel, that's incorrect. Who's your favourite house, sir? Gryffindor again. It's an old man who just got that. Five points going over there. All right, guys, this is the last question that we're going to get underway. This is for the applause of the room. Uh, I'm looking to see if I have any super fans. I'm looking for Albus Dumbledore's full name. There are five. Me! I don't know it. Go again. Give a G! Do we invite a JK? So now, come and see for yourself the world of Mithy Magic that was our home for ten years. Oh, one more thing. We're going to reveal some closely held secrets about the magic of Harry Potter, so I just want to warn you. You may never look at Quidditch the same way again. Now jump up out of those seats, come down here and join me on the stone. I won't be returning to this part of the tour next on, so please make sure you bring all your personal belongings with you, some bags, coats, cameras, wands, broomsticks, Jones, children, favourite children. <laughs> also, if you're celebrating a birthday or any special occasion, come right down to the very front. I'll be people out the way and just say that. Uh, it's your birthday, happy birthday, stick your hand on the great old door, sir. Anybody else? Come on down, I see a hand. Quickly, part the seas. Come on down, come on down, come on down. Grab the door, grab the bit of the door. Face redoring fans. And with that, let me greet you all with the very words Harry heard when he first arrived at the castle. Welcome to Ogles. Give him a gentle push. <laughs> Round of applause, and come on in, everybody. This is the one and only Great Wall of Hogwarts. It was one of the first sets ever constructed for the Harry Potter films. And as you come on in, you will also see it's one of the largest. Now, it stood for over 10 years on Soundstage B before being brought here piece by precious piece and reconstructed for you on the studio tour. Now, as you come on in, you'll see the lights are low, the fires are lit, and the tables are all laid. Now, this is a film industry that we call a hot set. It basically means it's ready to go. She can't come past until you tell me the password for Gryffindor's door room. I don't know the password. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No more for you, no more Harry Potter. Everyone else is in there, they're not Gryffindor. Where's the fat lady? Is there a fat lady? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that What's ages. We're about to see Tom Riddle's diary. Get it. So just give it two minutes. Well, it's it's Laura, she's kick. rebelling oh, against the norm. No, we're just allowed to do it. it. She's not allowed. She doesn't even work here. She put the gloves on, nipped <laughs> over, and we're just trusting her. <laughs> this is Tom Riddle's diary, so we have to keep it under lock and key. So there's only about five of these made, and this one is the one that Daniel Radcliffe actually stabbed. So, 12 year old actually Daniel actually stabbed. stabbed. Sorry. Should we call the video? You know I'm making me nervous with yeah. these cameras. <laughs> oh, can we stab sorry, sorry. Can we stab No. It can we have a famous stab? Just one time. Just one time, one time. Value that. that. Joking, I'm, I'm putting it on YouTube. <laughs> like, you can honest. see the ink is still there from the... Oh wow, really? They stabbed it, and if we look at the back, it's the ink cartridge that they had to use. <gasps> so lie. they actually stabbed it? Yeah. Wow. They actually yeah. stabbed it. Next. It's a little bit long for you. Okay, wave at the bubbles, 
Watch out. Okay, fantastic. Next, you're going to go super fast. Lean forwards. Excellent. And then you go left and dodge the bus. Perfect. Well done. Reach down the water. Awesome. Dodge the boat. Nice one. Okay, so go left and right. Oh, you were saying easy. What was it? Oh, up the body power. Yeah, you turn that, you know, see the place. Oh, like it. No, I haven't told that, man. I've only seen it from four or so. Alright, perfect. One, two, Out on the lashing diagonal alley tonight, yeah. Oh, yeah to get him on the Get him down, yeah. Get him <laughs> down, yeah. Mitch was a touchline. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chad and I's first one of the experience. Here we go. It's like. It's like root beer. Cream. It tastes like cream soda with ice cream on top. Or is it this one? Things I do for Kenny. I mean, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, go, it's gonna be go great. On, go on, go on. Can I? I'm <laughs> scared. Go on. Oh, no, 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 it's this one. I don't know what it is. It's that one. Oh, what does it taste it? like? Does it Vomit. taste like earwax? Vomit? It's that or sherbet lemon? Vomit. Is it earwax? Oh, it's, oh. oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. Okay, I don't like it. it. <laughs> No, that's what the push flies in Sorry. What did it taste like? There's only one left. Get Ben, please. This is going to be I can confirm that was actually a rotten egg. Rotten egg. Who wants me in a one battle right now? Who wants me? Me, you now, on that bridge. Okay, then anything goes, but no other cadavers. Me and you. So do you ever think that when you were a kid you actually had already met wizards but they had to make you forget all the wizards things that you saw because, you know, they're wizards. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe. 